Most times when there is an accident on major highways, concerns are raised about the menace articulated vehicles pose. Well, little is said about the damage to cause on roads and power infrastructure within gated communities in Lagos State. In this report, TVC News met with residents of four community development areas in Egypt Wales City where the activities of trucks and sand sellers are endangering lives and crumbling businesses. This is an unusual scene in a Shamu Swamp community development area, a sprawling community in Egypt Wales LCD. The placards may be conveying their grievances. Their fallen faces and massive turnout from a Shamu Swamp and three other communities tell us there is more to the story. This peaceful protest is the latest effort to get the attention of the government after previous engagements with the LCDA and sand sellers failed. The bone of contention for parties involved is the reconstruction of roads damaged by articulated vehicles. We are trying to develop the roads because of the nature of the road because there is a, it's on a swampy area. But we found out that sand sellers who bring in sand all the way from Ikorodu, um, other parts of Lagos State, come to dredge at a canal which is linked at the end of divine community. The roads leading to the communities have been cut off. Residents have to park their vehicles and trek for at least 200 meters to pick their children or even access their homes. We are not the ones damaging this road. We are the ones damaging our road. Tons, 30 ton trucks they come in hundreds. They ply this road per day with noise, destroying properties, cutting cables, damaging gutters and falling over in the water that we cannot even go out. And we have called our chairman to support. He said they do not have money. Give us whatever. They said they will support us with Caterpillar. The Caterpillar, we have applied for it in the last five weeks. They have failed to approve it. And now he has eventually, we the sand sellers, come to frustrate our efforts within this community, saying that we should stop development because it is a state road. To register their grievances, residents took the protest to the office of the sand sellers and the LCDA. At Divine Avenue, they were stopped near tracks. Some sand sellers hurled stones at the TVC News crew and the residents upon seeing the camera. Angela should take its course now. This is unbearable. This is our home. This it's is a, our land. This is a peaceful demonstration. And each time I ask them to come and partake in the construction of the road, they will put up a fire. As you can see, they are stoning. The communities allege the sand sellers have refused to prepare the damaged road, and when they contributed monies, authorities of the Egypt LCDA stopped them from embarking on the project. And they are applying on other road, they are paying, paying for Tanzania. You cannot come and tell them, Mr. Chairman has not done anything, I have not done, I have not started the operations. When you know there are empirical facts before the police, before other security needs, that I came to the community on a whole day and I put a stop to all operations. You cannot come here and tell it, as I say this morning, before the pressmen. I am being shocked, but my stand is still. We have got to the level of state government. Let the state government intervene. These residents are seeking the intervention of the state government. They are also asking the sand sellers to take responsibility for the maintenance of the road within the communities. Sarah Ayuko, TVC News, Lagos.